So the simplest predictor that uses history is called the branch target buffer. What it does is it takes the current PC of the branch and uses that to index into a table which we call the BTB and from this table what we read out is our best guess for what the next PC will be. But how do we know what to put in this table? Well, we carry the PC of the branch and the predicted PC with it through the pipeline. So this is what happens at fetch. Later on in the pipeline, we have the correct PC new. At that point, we will compare the predicted one with the correct one, and if they're not equal, we will treat that as a misprediction. And also, we will use the branch's own PC to index again into the BTB and write this new PC that is correct into the table so that next time we see this branch, we get the correct prediction, assuming that it's jumping to the same location. But there is a problem with our BTB. How big does it need to be? We want it to, in one cycle, given the current PC, predict a PC. So it needs to have a single cycle latency. That means we want it to be really small. However, it needs to contain an entire instruction address. Let's say we're using 64-bit addressing. That means each entry is 8 bytes, and we need one entry for each possible PC from which we can fetch. The program can be large. Note that an instruction can be 4 bytes, yet we need 8 bytes in the BTB. So really, the BTB needs to be as large as the program itself, which is really large. So we cannot have a dedicated entry in the BTB for every possible PC address. We need the BTB to be much smaller than that. How do we do that? 